Hey, wonderful, amazing, perhaps exhausted teachers. Okay, I have a cool way to encourage shy or confident students, ESL or not ESL students to speak. With everything going online, I picked an activity that can keep up, you know, with the technology in the actual classroom or your online sessions. All you need is the Chatterpix app. Allow me to explain and show you around. Chatterpix is basically an app that converts pictures of literally any object into pictures that talk. Awesome, right? Let's say students have to talk about their favorite animal, whether in a presentation or in an assignment. So instead of the classic way of a student just standing, talking about that animal or best case scenario, students are bringing a picture of that animal or the actual animal. While the rest of the class listening half sleep, try chatter pics. I love elephants. They have four legs and two big ears. They eat fruit and plants. They live in Africa and Asia. Tell students to download the app. You don't really have to explain how they should use it because right after installation, they get a tutorial video on how to do that. All they gotta do is take a picture or choose one from the gallery, draw a mouth on it, record a message using their beautiful voices. Most of my students, regardless of their age and ability, find it really easy to engage with. This is a great activity, especially for shy students. Perhaps the best thing about Chatterpix is that it encourages creative expression from learners who don't usually like to talk in class. Also, because they can record their audio until they're happy with it, they don't feel the pressure of producing spontaneous speech. Chatterpix can be used to enhance learning in a variety of playful ways. And here are some ideas. Imagine you have a dull vocabulary set to teach objects in the house, for instance. You could allocate each learner an item and get them to make a chatter pix, which verbally defines what it is. You fill me with water. I get very hot. I live in the kitchen. I help you make tea. These videos could then be used to play a class game of what am I? First, just to play the audio and then reveal the talking image. At higher levels, learners could demonstrate their understanding of grammar points by recording a short explanation in the character of, say, their favorite pop star. How about bringing historical figures to life to say who they are, explain events, or give their opinion? You can join in the fun too. You could use a chatter picks video to introduce a new topic, give instructions, or explain a language point. If you're teaching about food and healthy eating vocabulary, for example, why not have a juicy speaking tomato set the context for you? From the app itself, students can email their videos to you directly, share them on YouTube, or save them to the camera roll and share via the class's preferred platform. So Oh yeah, piece of cake. Students will get super creative and you will get very excited whenever there is a chatter picks assignment or activity. That's a pretty it. Thank you for being an awesome hardworking teacher.